Okay, so let's talk about intelligence and IQ. There are a lot of opinions to us out there to address intelligence. We talk about being book smart, being highly intelligent, being emotionally intelligent, or even being retarded or just less gifted. But to start, let's talk about what exactly IQ is. IQ is a term that's coined by psychologist William Stern in the early 1900s. It became popular later on. In early 20th century Paris, there were a lot of students who didn't want to follow regular education. Students who by today's standards would be considered mentally retarded. The French minister asked Alfred Binet to figure out a way to select these kind of students so that they could be offered special education. Binet had to make an intelligence test which could help in figuring out who is the smart but especially the dumb kids in class were. He asked some teachers who they thought were smart and who weren't and asked if he could monitor how these kids performed on his test. And this is where the real changes measuring today's IQ originated. Binet established a mean for every age group in school and based on the following formula you get IQ. MA divided by CA times 100 where MA is the mental age. How far developed the cognitive functions are. CA is the chronological age. Basically your age according to the calendar. And 100 is the mean IQ. So let's say we have Timmy. Timmy is 8 years old and scored 32 on an IQ test. The average score for an 8 year old is however 28. The average score for a 10 year old is also 32, just like Timmy. This means Timmy has a mental age of 10 and a chronological age of 8. 10 divided by 8 times 100 equals 125. Timmy has an IQ of 125. The thing you have to understand about IQ though is that 100 is the mean. Some people will be over it and some people will be under it, but overall, 100 is the average at any given time. If an average human with an IQ of 100 from 2017 would visit 1990, would probably have a higher IQ than 100 did because the overall intelligence was lower at that point in time. Meaning, he'd be above me. Here you can see a bell curve of the approximate IQ scores. Most of them are around 100. An individual with a score of around 70 is considered less gifted and around 130 is considered highly intelligent. The thing with IQ tests though, is that it's based on several testing areas like math, patterns and language skills. Being bad at one of these can have a big impact on your score. Take for example Einstein. He is considered to have an IQ of 160 even though he never made an IQ test. We assume he didn't have an outstanding IQ because of his revolutionary ideas about general relativity. If he did an IQ test these days however, he might not reach nearly that high as his intelligence was mostly in one field. But that doesn't mean that Einstein wasn't a very smart man, he was! IQ testing is just not a definitive way of measuring intelligence, it's a rough estimate that leaves many factors out of its equation. A massive knowledge of housing theories could be considered very smart if you work in furniture, but it does however not add any IQ points, which is why we should take IQ with a grain of salt and use it more as an indicator instead of a definitive representation of your intelligence. That's all for this video guys, so hope you learned something today and till next time, see ya!